Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 27th January 2018. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it may help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topics, we we'll look at key commodities using technical charts. These tend to impact related stocks. We we'll look at oil and gold. A rising tide lifts all boats. We study the broad market using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of four broad market ETFs to see whether the broad market is going up or not. If we place our trades in alignment with the industry rotation that adds additional edges to the trades, we will study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent trades from Q Forum and certainly look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We start our commodity study using oil. We are looking at US oil using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this is the template that helps us decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart. This week oil went up strongly. It formed a very bullish shape candle, hollow and long body candle. And the candle color is also bullish, cyan. Activity was high. In daily chart on Thursday there was a bearish headwind signal. There was no bearish headwind short trade setup because the weekly was very bullish. One might have put a protective stop seeing the bearish headwind signal in daily. That stop was not hit. On Friday price went up again. Price is up, up, upper boundary and it is being supported by very steep memory support line. Because it is above upper boundary, we are not going to try any long trade and it is going up. There is no short trade either. We are now looking at gold using the same at a glance template. This week gold also went up. The candle color in the weekly chart is bullish cyan. However, the shape is neutral. It has a hollow body that is bullish, but it also has an upper tail that is bearish. So overall the candle shape is neutral. Interestingly, this week gold went up and precisely hit the memory resistance line. A memory that was coming from far far away and precisely reversed from that level. While that happened, the daily chart also displayed a bearish headwind signal. Again there was no bearish headwind trade setup because the weekly was bullish and the daily candle shape was also indecisive. As of Friday's close, price is very near the upper boundary line. Friday's candle color is neutral yellow, 
candle shape is bearish. It has a solid body and it has an upper tail. It has hit a long term memory resistance line. We may wait to see whether gold goes back up and breaks above this memory resistance in weekly or it breaks the memory support in daily and goes down. Right now there is no low risk entry opportunity in gold. Let's now look at the market breadth. Every week we study market breadth using NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index weekly charts and we also study three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume because this study is using weekly charts and broad indices it is to be used only for long term investing decisions not for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. NASDAQ and NYSE both were in uptrend for long time and in this year 2018 for last four weeks the uptrend has become stronger. NYSE is overbought for many weeks and NASDAQ is also overbought. This week we had very bullish shape weekly candles for both NASDAQ and NYS. Internals are also going up. Out of the six internals, only two, that is the advanced decline for both NASDAQ and NYSC went down. They still closed above zero and the other four internals, new high lows and up down volume went up. So four internals went up, two went down, all the six internals closed positive. In summary we can say that the broad market indices were strong and became stronger now. Internals are not weak anymore relative to long term values. They are neutral. And for this specific week internals are strong. This shows a strong bullish market and we will arrive at the same conclusion from broad market ETFs as well. We are studying SPY using at a glance template. In the weekly it went up strongly with a very long hollow candle, very bullish shape candle and the color is also bullish cyan. SPY went up with heavy activity this week. Last week looking at the shape of the weekly candle I had mentioned that this shape is very bullish. That bullish shape led to further and very sharp rise in SPY this week. In the daily chart SPY is above upper boundary for many days now. It is over extended so we are not going to try any long trade. It is too late. It is clearly going up so there is no short trade opportunity right now. QQQ also went up strongly with a very bullish shape candle, long hollow candle, bullish colors, cyan color candle. Activity was high though not very high. In the daily chart, it is above upper boundary for long time. So we don't have any low risk entry opportunity on the long side. Dia chart is very similar to SPY. It went up with a very bullish shape candle and it went up with very high activity as well. Again in the daily chart, it is above upper boundary for many days. There is no low risk entry opportunity right now on the long side. IWM also went up. However, here the candle shape is mixed. It has hollow body that is bullish but upper tail that is bearish. 
the candle color in the weekly chart backdrop candle color is bullish sign the relative performance line continues to till down and the drop became sharp part this week showing that IWM continues to underperform market and the weakness became more pronounced this week as this is the weakest of the four broad market ETFs if the market were to reverse most probably IWM will be the first one to reverse you may keep an eye on that in the daily chart on Friday we have a bullish shape candle with long lower tail however the candle color is neutral yellow it is very close to upper boundary so we don't have any long trade signal right now it is in uptrend so we don't have any short trade either all the four broad market ETFs went up other than IWM the rest went up very strongly with high or very high activities IWM continues to be the underperformer still all four of them made new all-time highs this is the fourth week of the new year and the market is going up strongly and the strength seems to be getting more pronounced we will find the same conclusion from sector industry analysis as well let's have a look at that every week we study sector performance using 11 economic sectors we study them over three periods the red bar represents performance of this week green bar performance of one week prior to the red bar and blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar together they give us performance of four weeks or about one month of performance any bar coming to the right of the zero line indicates the sector went up and any bar to the left of the zero level indicates the sector went down this week was very bullish with all the 11 sectors going up together we did not see such strong performance across all the sectors for a very long time all the sectors went up and they went up by significant percentages we can see that from the length of the red lines momentum continues to be strong seven sectors that were up in the previous week continued to go up again and four others flipped from negative to positive so all the elephants went up this week the seven that continued their upward momentum are telecom services we can see because the green and the red both bars are coming to the right of the zero line so these seven are telecom services real estate information technology healthcare financial consumer staples and consumer discretionary four sectors flipped from negative to positive these are utilities materials industrials and energy telecom and real estate sectors were up in the previous week as well their up move continued in the last roundup I had mentioned of potential by the low opportunity if these sectors turn around from the bottom that seems to be taking place telecom was one of the strongest sectors this week going up by more than 3.5 percent if you are watching the market roundups regularly you know that using the industry rotation table we are almost always able to catch the exact turning point telecom and real estate were weak for very long time and now for two successive weeks they went up 
this may lead to the turning around of these sectors and some of its industries. We will drill down further into this when we study the industry. We are now looking at the best performing industries. They are spread across diverse sectors showing broad based bullish market. Household appliances turned around from earlier weakness. This industry might have benefited from the new duty imposed on imported appliances. Whirlpool is one stock in this industry. You could buy Whirlpool at the lower end of its sideways range. On this Monday, 22nd January, for a low risk entry that turned out to be a very profitable trade. Alternative carriers is one of the best performing industries. We had discussed Century Link several times in market roundups. This was a fundamentally strong stock paying very large dividend. This week it broke out of its narrow sideways range. Let's have a look at Q Edge. Look at the industries, household appliances and alternative carriers. Drill down to the stocks and finally look at their charts to see how you could buy these stocks at the right time with very low risk. Every time we open Q Edge, it analyzes 11 economic sectors and more than 170 industry groups across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, 2 days and 1 day. For every review period, it assigns score 1 to the weakest one and a large number to the strongest one and also applies a heat map, magenta to the weakest one, cyan to the strongest one and a color gradient to all the ones in between. If we look at the sector scorecard, we can see that over 5 days period, that is the primary period for trade entry for both long term investment as well as swing trading. We see that real estate that was weak for long time gained strength and telecom was also weak for long time, now gained strength. Real estate's score became cyan, so it is bullish and it went up with acceleration. That shows up as the cyan color on base column, the primary 5 days period. The analysis that is done for the 11 sectors is done for more than 170 industries. To find the best performing industries, we can sort over 5 days period from the largest to smallest scores. We see household appliances is one that was weak earlier, magenta and very nicely gradually turning cyan. Whirlpool is a stock in this industry. Let's look at Whirlpool's chart. In the daily chart, Whirlpool was moving in narrow sideways range, bounded by watermark resistance and support and also memory support at the bottom. In superior profit, we are not very fond of breakout trading. When it moves in a sideways range, instead of taking long at breakout, we often prefer to catch the very bottom as the stock goes to the lower end of the sideways range. If one kept an eye on while pull, one might be able to take the trade right on this candle. The stop would be just below recent low and profit target would be the 
upper range of the sideways move very next day it went up so partial profit at least could be booked and the rest could be held letting profit run I see there was earnings on Thursday so if somebody was investing in whirlpool for longer term then one might consider carrying it across the earnings but swing traders as per our guideline would probably exit the trade at least the stock positions with the profit one could probably buy some of the call options that would give additional profit as the stock went up this is an example of trying to catch the very bottom of a stock that is moving in a sideways range coming back to the industry scorecard alternative carriers this is a telecom sector industry that was weak for a long time and now gained strength we can see that over five days the score is cyan that is bullish and it went up with acceleration the pace five days score is also cyan we could click this button to drill down into the stocks QH goes to Thomson Reuters icon Metastock Zenith to get the data Century Link is one of them clicking the calculator button will get data on all these stocks and calculate these vital statistics instantly from the cyan color coding we know that Century Link is optimally valued it is currently paying a dividend percentage of 11.86 when we started tracking century link in these roundups its dividend yield percentage was 14 percent plus now as the stock has gone up the dividend percentage has reduced still a very respectable 11.8 percent century link was declining in the past after that it had displayed bullish headwind both in the weekly and daily charts and since then it went up in last couple of weeks it was moving in narrow sideways range bounded by watermark resistance at the top and memory support at the bottom it was also supported by the longer term yellow direction line in the last market roundup also i had mentioned that if it breaks out of the range it will give us a low risk entry opportunity usually we don't take breakout trades except when the breakout results in a low risk entry because the range is narrow which was true in this case on thursday century link opened above the watermark resistance however closed lower indicated by the solid body on thursday on friday it opened above the same watermark resistance and continued to go up closing well above the resistance line so one could take the long trade probably on friday's market open soon after market open using early range breakout mechanism the stock is still optimally valued and it is clearly bullish both in the weekly and daily charts so there was a good long opportunity both for swing trading and probably also for long term investing two stocks we studied whirlpool in appliances industry and century link in alternative carriers industry both gave long opportunities but very different setups in case of whirlpool it was buying the low of the sideways range and in case of century link it was buying after breakout of the upper range both resulted in very low risk entry century link was an example where using bullish headwind we could catch the very bottom every week we discuss charts where bullish or bearish headwind 
are able to catch the exact bottom or top respectively. And this week we will see many more examples of that. That is why we take this signal very seriously like the other signals. And if we are holding a position against the signal, if there is a bullish signal and we are holding a short position, we are always careful. We may or may not exit the trade, however at minimum we protect our profit using protective stop. Sometimes we are able to take very profitable trades using the headwind signal, the headwind trade setup. We will see examples of that today. This is earnings season when companies are declaring their earnings it is common that some stocks will go up and some stocks will go down so though the market is strongly bullish it is not that every stock is going up there are always worst performing industries as well houseware and specialties for example dropped by almost 15 percent among the worst performing industries four are housing related you may be cautious about holding any long position in these industries and use protect profit stop may even book partial or full profit these four housing related industries are housewares and specialties home building household durables and household products i drill down into home building out of the nine home building stops that dropped by more than 4% this week, an unbelievable six displayed bearish headwind signal before the drops. The six are NVRMHO, WHLCAA, LEN, and TOL. This flurry of headwinds before the stocks fall reinforces the need to be cautious when this potential reversal signal appears. If multiple stocks in the same industry display headwinds together, then the weakness may be more pervasive as was in this case. Let's go to key wage, look at home building, drill down into its stocks and finally look at these six stocks and see how bearish headwind alerted us of potential large drops. In QA, to identify the worst performing industries, we sort the industries over primary 5 days period from smallest to largest scores. The weakest ones come to the top. Home building is one that immediately catches the eye. It was cyan for many months strong and now very nicely gradually turning magenta we we could drill down into the stocks it has found 19 stocks clicking the calculator button will retrieve data on these stocks and calculate the vital statistics the statistics calculation is done we can click the magnifying glass the investigate button to get the data on vital analysis tab and do further analysis. Here we have the data across many panels. We can go to the performance panel and sort by performance over 5 days. If we look at the stocks that declined by 4% or more. We have these stocks NVR, HOV, MHO, WHL till TPH. Total 9 stocks and 6 out of these 9 displayed bearish headwind just before their drops. This was amazing, isn't it? Let's have a look at these stocks. This is CAA. It was at the very top. In fact, pendulum high. We know it was at pendulum high that is a very high price level from the magenta color of the headwind diamond. 
after the Edwin diamond appear it fell down relative performance tilted down though the market strongly went up this stock fell down nicely if you are holding a long position you may be careful not only in these stocks but the other home building stocks this is William Leon Holmes WLH this also displayed two successive bearish headwinds that could catch the very top and over the last three days it fell sharply interestingly earlier bearish headwinds could also catch respective tops third stock in home building MHO MI homes after displaying the bearish headwind in daily chart fell sharply interestingly earlier bearish headwind could catch the swing high and earlier bullish headwinds could catch the swing lows toll brothers tol again it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top and stock dropped right to the memory support lines earlier bearish headwind also resulted in a pullback lenar another home builder displayed multiple bearish headwinds and after the second bearish headwind it couldn't go up fell back to the value area earlier bearish headwind resulted in a pullback and bullish headwinds before that could catch the very bottom back to caa we see that all of these stocks in the same industry fell together though the market was strongly going up and each of these cases we could be careful and protect our profit by using the bearish headwind signal other than home building another interesting industry that went down is airlines why it is interesting last week it was one of the decelerating industries and we keep on seeing that a decelerating industries of one week often ends up being worst performer in subsequent weeks that happened again in airlines southwest airlines luv was overvalued we could find that from q vital we could also find that from q edge by drilling down from airlines industry into its stocks so the industry was decelerating one week ago the stock was overvalued and again on q charts there was bearish headwind that was on 19th december that could catch the very top of the stock luv fell by 6.5 percent this week at minimum seeing the industry deceleration and the bearish headwind you could protect profit in existing long position let's have a look at luv using q vital and then look at its technical charts in q vital the fundamental and peer analyst we can type the symbol specify the peer relationship that we want to use in this case we are using industry peers we could also use sector country or even global peers and click this peers button to retrieve all the peer stocks 13 stocks are retrieved clicking the calculator button it will get data on the stocks and calculate the vital statistics instantly from color coding we can see relative value score of luv is magenta that is it is overvalued so when the bearish headwind signal came earlier it was overvalued at that time also this was one weakness at the stock level we already saw there was weakness in the industry because it was decelerating one week ago 
let's have a look at the technical charts. LUV earlier created a double top in the weekly chart. There was a false upside breakout. Let's change that weekly template to see the weekly watermark levels. Earlier LUV made a top in the weekly chart, fell down from there and then went back to the same level and reversed. Came down below this watermark resistance level creating a false upside breakout. While it reached the very top in the weekly chart, in daily it displayed a bearish headwind signal. Seeing that we would be cautious and protect our profit using stop order, protect profit stop order. The exact location can be decided from the Q protection signal. If we switch to Q hop up template, we see that from the bottom as the stock was going up, the Q protection signal very nicely protected the long position. It was far enough that it was not hit, for example, not hit at this point, not hit at this point and it kept on moving up with the stock to allow us to move stop higher and higher. Safe distance away but not letting profit erode much when it finally reversed. We would be out of the long position using trailing stop at this level. In this case, the bearish headwind helped us nicely to protect profit in existing long position. At the right edge, Southwest has already dropped below the lower boundary, so we are not going to take any short trade right now. If the stock goes little bit up to the value area and tilts down from there, that may give us the next go with flow short opportunity and we like to take such a short trade only if the industry is weakening. That is our general approach and that is even more true because overall market is strongly bullish. It will be safer not to try any short trade unless there are enough reasons to do that. Every week we study the accelerating industries they often end up being best performers in subsequent weeks. In QH, I saw several of these industries are switching between cyan and magenta scores. Sometimes gaining, sometimes declining. So you may be cautious about taking any long position in these industries. On the other hand, healthcare technology, not in the top 10 accelerating industries but is one that is accelerating and is accelerating steadily, strengthening steadily. I found this very interesting stock, Quality Systems QSII. It is optimally valued and found support after earnings shakeout. So earnings came out, the stock tried to go down but recovered very nicely with a long lower tail and very high activity. It is optimally valued, it is supported on the chart and the industry is accelerating from weakness. So you may keep an eye on this stock for potential long. Let's have a look at QH, look at the accelerating industries, identify healthcare technology, drill down to quality systems and finally look at its charts. In QH to identify the accelerating industries, we sort industries over base 5 days column, largest to smallest. The industries that are gaining strength rapidly accelerating come to the top. You can see several of them, consumer finance is not gradually, steadily changing color. It is sometimes magenta, cyan, magenta, cyan, magenta. Same is true for 
oil and gas exploration and production magenta cyan little bit magenta cyan again magenta cyan this shows the industry is sometimes going up sometimes going down on the other hand healthcare technology it was cyan long time ago but after that for many months it is magenta weak over five days it is still magenta however we look at the base column five days it is very bright cyan so it is accelerating fast these are the times we may be able to catch the fundamentally strong stocks at very low price just as the industry is accelerating after lagging for long time that's how the acceleration helps us typically the one day acceleration turns cyan first then two day and finally five days five days is the primary period based on which we may consider taking a trade we can drill down into its underlying stocks by clicking this drill down button 15 stocks are retrieved Clicking the calculator button retrieves data on these stocks and calculates these vital statistics. Instantly from color coding, we see that QSII, quality systems, is optimally valued. Relative valuation score is cyan. That's all we need to see. That caught my attention. I, I looked at its charts. Quality systems was and still is inside a triangle pattern in the weekly chart. Now it is coming near the tip of the triangle. This week had very high activity. In the weekly chart, very long lower tail and this was earnings week. Interestingly, price closed at the exact price where price closed one week ago. We know that from the activity bar yellow color. In the daily it was inside triangle pattern. It is still inside the triangle pattern. On Friday because of earnings it tried to go down first but recovered nicely. It has an upper tail as well as lower tail. The body is hollow. Overall, the candle is indecisive. Still, considering the fact that it tried to go down but reverse sharply with extreme high activity on both Thursday and Friday, this stock may have higher chance of going up than going down. Using our techniques to enter the trade, we might Either wait for a breakout, pull back and tilt up again, thereby giving us a proper trend following go with flow trade setup. Alternatively, like was true in case of wild pull. If the stock comes to the support memory and reverses from there, we may be able to catch the stock at the lower end of its sideways range. The stock is fundamentally strong. If the industry continues to strengthen, then you may consider taking a trade, long trade in this stock. Marine industry, another industry that we studied in many earlier market roundups. This industry accelerated. I had discussed several stocks in this industry. Several of them went up. CISPAN is one that was optimally valued and paid a nice dividend. Currently the dividend is at 6.5%, pretty good. This stock went up by 13% this week. Using 360 degrees analysis, the industry is turning around. The stock's fundamental strength, optimal valuation, and the chart pattern on Q charts, you could be ready and profit from this move. You could buy it on Monday, 22nd Jan, 
as it came up from longer term support. It was not a standard Q trade setup, but it was similar to trying to buy the stock at the lower end of a sideways range. In this case, it was not sideways range, but it came to yellow support line and gave us a very bullish shape candle. Let's have a look at the industry, drill down to the stock and then finally look at its charts. We can filter the industries for marine industry. We see a beautiful color move from magenta gradually turning into cyan. So it is gradually strengthening, not going up sometimes, going down sometime at the industry level. This is the color pattern on the industry scorecard that attracts me to try to take long trade. This week it went up with acceleration that we can know from the cyan color on pace 5 days. We could drill down to underlying stocks. It has found 15 stocks. Clicking the calculator button will retrieve data on this and calculate these vital statistics and many other calculations. Additional calculations are available in the panels of this vital analysis tab. The vital statistics calculation is complete. Again, instantly from the color coding, we know SSW C-SPAN has optimal valuation. In this case, both for relative valuation and internal valuation. Pays a nice dividend even now, 6.49% at its current price level. We were tracking this industry. It was turning from weakness to strength. We are tracking this stock as it was fundamentally strong, optimally valued, and we could catch the stock at a very low price, probably much before others using this 360 degrees analysis. Let's look at its charts. Earlier, C-SPAN was moving in narrow sideways range from which it broke out. Then it was moving in sideways range again. A bearish headwind came in the daily chart that resulted in a pullback. On this day, price bounced up from the longer term yellow direction line, providing support that candle shape was very bullish. Candle color was still red, bearish. One could wait for one more day and take the long position very next day using early range breakout technique on real time charts. Since then, price has strongly gone up. This is a low price stock. Right now, 7.71. I took an interesting trade in this stock. Price came to this level when it was on the yellow candle, it was actually below several memory resistance lines. Those memory lines were broken in this way, but it was staying at those memory resistance lines for a few days below them, then the bearish headwind came and it dropped. I noticed there was a call option expiring in February, strike 7.5. That call option was priced at 25 cents at this point, 25 cents. It was out of the money because at this point price was below 7.5. So 7.5 February call was 25 cents at this point. Then I noticed when price came to this bottom and next day it was trying to go up. The same 7.5 strike was selling at 10 cents, asking 10 cents and bid was 5 cents. And sometimes asking 15 cents, bid 10 cents. So I could buy some of the 7.5 February call options at this point. Then very nicely it went up, went up above 7.5. So the options are in the money now and it gave very large percentage profit. I think right now the 7.5 call 
is around 40 cents and it could be bought at 10 cents at the bottom though i shared this example it is not to encourage people to buy out of the money options that is not our standard approach because i was tracking the stock for a long time and i was tracking the industry as well several other stocks in this industry were going up strongly so i could use some of my capital, small position of my total capital to buy this out of the money call options. That worked out beautifully. If you are watching an industry regularly and studying its stocks, you may be able to sometimes buy such out of the money call options at very low price when there is a dip and then make many times profit. So I booked profit on enough lots to get back my entire invested capital at the end of Friday. February expiry is still far away so I am planning to just try to let profit run. February expiry has three weeks more. If the up move continues at the current pace then it may go to somewhere around 10, 10.5. So probably there is high chance it will close somewhere between 9 to 10. That will be in the money by about 2.5 dollar. The options were purchased at 10 cents so it will give huge profit. This is somewhat high risk trade in terms of the option strike. It was quite out of the money. This is not the standard practice. I am mentioning it because sometimes if you are watching the industry and the stock strength and a reversal candle like this and its peers strength, you may be able to take such trade. Another trade I would like to share that was on Apple. I noticed that the stock was in a sideways range for a long time. Though the market was going up strongly, and Apple's industry was also weakening. The stock was clearly weakening. So I could take a short trade right at the top. Probably on this bearish shape candle. When it completed a false upside breakout. In the daily chart and also in the weekly chart. I could buy a put option just crossing the earnings. The earnings I think is on 31st Jan. I bought 2nd February put option. In this case I bought in the money put option. The next couple of days it went down. By Friday I had more than 100% profit. So I again booked enough lots profit so that the entire trade is risk free. Now after earnings, if it drops, then my profit will run. If it goes up, I will still end up with some profit in the trade. I posted a detailed blog on this trade. Let me quickly have a look at that. We can go to the blogs from our homepage, education blog. This is an example of a trade taken in sideways market. For sideways market, we have the box trade set up as if a stock is bounded by the box. And we can take very low risk entries. Interestingly, when I was taking the short trade, I checked on Metastock Zenith, that is Thompson Reuters icon. Just for fun, I don't use this information in my trading. I believe they are more misleading than helpful. You see the target price of Apple from the so-called world-class analysts. The target prices were going up from October to November to December to current month, January. Median and mean both were going up 180, 93, 93, 95. 
and on average the recommendation was 1.9 that is very close to 2 by in other words certainly the analysts were telling us to buy the stock when it was at the highest level but was moving sideways just before earnings and I looked at the chart as I showed you earlier it was moving in a sideways range already we had high activity in a previous stop so in this range when the price came down with magenta down arrow the bear release signals technically we had valid box short trade setups the second magenta candle was indecisive so one could wait to take the trade on the next day and this little drop over next few days in fact it broke the memory support as of this snapshot that drop was enough to give 100 percent profit fundamentally apple is of course strong it has gone up so we didn't expect it to be optimally valued valuation is yellow in the middle in terms of growth it is not the strongest strongest one will have growth in cyan color more green color interestingly EPS growth over two years period and revenue growth also over two years period has background shades showing that the growth was negative over two year periods earnings is coming soon 31st Jan not sure if it will result in another negative growth in this quarterly earnings if it does then the stock is likely to fall further letting me run with the profit what about the industry apple belongs to technology hardware storage and peripherals immediately from the color coding we see it was strong earlier cyan and very nicely and gradually it is transitioning to magenta so the industry is certainly weakening this is a snapshot of my brokerage platform I had more than 100% profit and I decided to book profit on this put option enough lots I booked so that even if the remaining lots become zero I will still have some profit that is a very useful effective nice technique I use and I suggest you may also use options trading is risky I always suggest to put only little money on options because earnings is nearby I didn't try to buy longer term expiry I bought put option expiring on February 2nd just crossing the earnings otherwise I like to buy at least one month further expiry sometimes maybe three months for longer term options in fact for century link I have also bought a call option century link looks like a nice stock going up just broke out of the range for c span also i explained i bought a call option that was also longer term one month expand if you look at the apple's chart here using five minute fine tune chart we know the stock was weaker than broad market in daily chart we knew that from relative performance the industry was weakening so for day traders we will be looking for short trades and on this particular day we had a very nice very low risk short trade that gave very large profit soon after market open it formed this early range high and early range low lines is the early range high and early range low using early range breakout technique we could take the shot as it fell below early range low our stop will be just above early range high that was never approached instead it fell hit this pivot line this pause line and then fell further by the time it hit the pivot line we had our risk distance covered so we could book enough profit and try to let profit run on the remaining position and have even more profit by the end of the day so we could take both day trades as well as swing trades looking at the weakness of apple and ignoring what the analysts are saying 
Let's have a look at the decelerating industries. They often tend to be worst performers in subsequent weeks. Semiconductor equipment is the biggest decelerating industry. Several of the stocks ICHR, MKSI, AMAT and LRCX are near 52 week high, all time high actually and are forming double tops in weekly charts. Because the industry decelerated, you may be cautious and watch if it reverses from there. There may not be any trade opportunity now. However, if you are having long position, you may be careful. Use the Q protection signal probably to put protective stop in place. Casinos and gaming, another industry that is interesting immediately catches the eye on q edge we'll have a look at q edge this industry was strong for a long time and now decelerated some stocks in this industry dropped heavily this way but that has already passed us i found this stock monarch casino and resort mcri this is overvalued fundamentally and moving inside very narrow range triangle in daily chart. Breaking below the memory support may give a very low risk and potentially very high profit short opportunity. Let's use Q edge to look at the semiconductor equipment industry and also casinos and gaming and look at some of these stocks also. In Q edge to find the decelerating industries we sort on Pace 5 days column, smallest to largest. The ones with magenta pace are the decelerating industries. Semiconductor equipment is the worst. It was strong for long time. Weekend in the middle. Try to go up and weekend again now this week. This weakening in the middle, trying to recover and weakening again. This is showing up as double tops on the weekly charts. Casinos and gaming also very interesting. It has no flip-flop between cyan and magenta as was true for semiconductor equipment. It was strong all along cyan and now suddenly dropped score heavily. Not only it decelerated heavily, the score also turned magenta weak relative to others. Let's drill down to semiconductor equipment stocks first. It has found 26 stocks. We can press the calculator button to retrieve data on these stocks and calculate vital statistics. Clicking the investigate button will send the data to vital analysis. And we can look for the stocks near 52 week high by sorting over the 52 week high column we see many of these are near 52 week high so those who are holding long positions for longer term especially are probably holding the stocks with very nice profit and some of the weekly charts are giving double top formation near double top formation so it may be time to be careful it may again drop from the second top especially if the industry continues to weaken. Let's look at some of the stocks that are showing double top or possible double top. Ecore Holdings, ICHR. It went up here, came down and now, in fact, with very high activity approaching the earlier top, approaching the watermark resistance level, both in weekly as well as daily. If it breaches the watermark resistance and reverses from there, it will give us a false upside breakout. And it may give us a sideways range, box, short trade setup. Lamb Research, LRCX, same thing, created earlier top in weekly, pulled back, now went back up to watermark resistance and in fact reversed precisely from there. This was earnings week for LRCX. It reversed from the watermark resistance both in daily and weekly. 
it is already in value area the stop is bit far away and there are memory supports nearby so we are not going to take any short trade however if we are holding long position we may be cautious applied materials created a top after earnings it dropped now approaching the same top approaching the watermark resistance created by previous earnings stop when a stock drops after earnings and tries to go back to the same level it is possible that more selling is left this is the same concept to use for headwind signals if after bearish headwind it falls and stock goes to the same headwind level more selling may be left and it may fall again that's why probably it will be a good idea to be cautious about emat and the other few semiconductor equipment stocks they are creating double tops in the weekly charts and also the industry is decelerating casino and gaming it was strong earlier weekend this week with acceleration let's drill down 16 stocks found clicking the calculator will retrieve data and calculate vital statistics there are several stocks in this industry that are overvalued magenta color in valuation mcri is one of them very close to 52 week high 6% below 52 week high so if it falls it will give us an opportunity to short the very top if options are liquid this sometimes give very high profit put options trade earnings is on 20th february there is some time for that mcri went up strongly as the casino and gaming industry was strengthening that industry is now strong for long time but weakened we see that weakness in the weekly chart it is moving sideways for many weeks now the candle color has turned bearish magenta for one two three four five six seven eight weeks this week's candle shape is also bearish in the daily chart it is moving inside triangle pattern very narrow range if it breaks below the lower range it may give us a low risk breakout short entry opportunity another approach could be if price tries to go to the memory resistance and reverses from there we could try to enter a very low risk short at the upper end of the sideways range it is clearly underperforming the broad market you may keep an eye on this stock for potential short opportunity there are few other stocks also in this industry showing a similar pattern why i picked this one is because this is also overvalued fundamentally so this is again one case where we are trying to have industry's weakness in our favor the stock's weakness in terms of fundamental overvaluation in our favor and the chart's weakness also in our favor let me summarize the market is going up strongly all the sectors gained this week that hasn't happened for many many weeks market breadth is bullish three of the broad market etfs went up very strongly that is spy qqq dia very long bullish candles there is no sign of weakness in the market this is the fourth week of the new year and it is going up strongly it is better to stay away from short trades if you at all look for short trades you may be careful and take shots only if the industry is weakening the stock is weak in terms of fundamentals and also if the chart is weak shorting just based on fundamentals or just based on technicals may not be safe at this point if you are holding long position in industries that are showing weakness you may not need to exit them but at minimum may use q protection signal to apply protective stop 
So in case the stock reverses, your capital you will not erode. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thanks to all of you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.